These are the five particular moments in the last year which have made the biggest impression on me in logging the progress of this war. The first one was on the second night after the invasion, when President Zelensky went out onto the streets of Kiev to show the world that he hadn't run, he hadn't gone to the United States, he was there with his cabinet, and he made a speech. It only lasted for 40 seconds. He said, I'm here, we're not going anywhere, we are going to fight. And that message, that quick, short message out there on the streets of Kiev gave hope to the people of Ukraine that they would fight and they would not be conquered. And it gave the rest of the world something to latch onto. And the Americans said, fine, okay, you will fight, we will do whatever it takes. And that set up the, the fact that this is a war, it's not a conquest, it's a war that the Ukrainians have got some hope of winning at some point. The second moment for me was when the great Russian convoy, this Russian convoy that was moving down to the west of Kiev, moving slowly, then it stopped and we all wondered what it was going to do and how it was going to disperse itself to surround and conquer Kiev. It had been stationary for some days and then it started to withdraw. And we realized that actually um, the Ukrainians had attacked it very cleverly. They reduced it to immobility and the Russians' own incompetence, their own logistical problems had actually made the, the convoy unviable and they withdrew. The reason that that moment was so important is because it showed us that the Russians had taken on probably more than they could chew here, that they were not competent at this sort of operation and that they would have to learn very quickly. The third moment for me revolved around Mariupol, the city in the south that should have fallen within the first hours of the invasion and in fact was still fighting a couple of months later. And the Russians just bombarded Mariupol to smithereens. They just artillery shelled it to oblivion until eventually it was surrounded and the Ukrainians had to withdraw or, or, or surrender. But then the fight went on and the Avastal steelworks, underground, they would not surrender and the Russians didn't quite know how to get them out. Eventually, when they ran out of food and ammunition, they then surrendered. And a bit later, uh, there were some prisoners were exchanged and some of the prisoners that were exchanged were some of the, the civilian women who were taken from the Avastal steelworks. And when they were released, they came walking out from the buses and they formed up in, in ranks of about six. They walked in step with their heads held high and their message to the world was we are the women of Avastal and this is Ukraine. That was a big moment. It was a big moment, I think, because it showed that although Mariupol was a defeat, it was a defeat that the Ukrainians would take heart from. And then the fourth moment, that was the, the day when the Ukrainians successfully <laughs> attacked the Kirsch Strait Bridge, which was the pride and joy of Putin, and it broke the land link between Crimea and Russia proper. That was a big moment because the attack on the Kirsch Strait Bridge, as it were, provoked the Russians into this new and much more destructive, quite barbaric policy of making war directly on the population of Ukraine. Two days later, on the 10th of October, the Russians began this new policy of shelling with missiles and artillery and using bombs uh, to actually attack the infrastructure of Ukraine. So in other words, they now are trying to take down the electricity system for the whole of Ukraine to give the Ukrainians a miserable, starving, cold winter. And then the fifth moment was the Russian withdrawal from Kherson down in the southwest. They'd taken Kherson, it was the only uh, significant city that the Russians had taken, but the Ukrainians built up their attacks around it, they attacked Russian logistics, they moved against Kherson in the north and in the west. And eventually, the Russians had to withdraw, humiliating for Putin. They simply went to the eastern side uh, of the river, and uh, that's where they have been since. And so getting Kherson back was a big moment, and that expresses the, the fact that the Ukrainians think they can win back their territory. This is the beginning of the end of the war. They're not just going to lose slowly and gallantly, they're going to win back as much as they can. And so the narrative for this second year of the war is Russia's determination to keep on with these brutal attacks, whatever it takes, and Ukraine's determination to win back territory and basically throw the Russians out, certainly of all the territory they've taken since February, and maybe, maybe, all the territory they have taken since 2014.